Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Kelsey and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this really cute pineapple crop top. So before we get started, you can check out my website in the description down below as well as my Instagram, my Facebook, and my TikTok. Alright, so to start off with today, I have a Lily Sugar and Cream 100% cotton yarn in the color teal. And I have a 5mm crochet hook and then I have some scissors and a tapestry needle over here. First thing we're going to do for this top is we're going to make a bra cup. And if you would like a detailed description of how I make my bra cups, they're going to be linked right up in the corner over here. But anyway, we're going to do a slip stitch and put it on our hook. I'm making a size small so I'm going to be chaining 12 here. All right, so after I have my chain 12, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be placing single crochets up the side of my chain until I get to the last one here. All right, so I've done my single crochets up the side of my chain and all I have left is my last chain that we started with. So in this last chain, I'm gonna be placing three single crochets, that's one, that's two, and that's three. If you can kind of tell, what I like to do is I like to place one on the side, try to put one kind of on the top, and then one around the other side, so it's gonna go in a little half circle there. And then once we've done that, we're just going to be continuing down the other side of our base chain with our single crochets. At this point, if you are new to this design, I would definitely put a stitch marker right here in the middle stitch of the three single crochets that we just did in the end. That's gonna help you later on. Right, so I have reached the bottom here and I single crocheted all the way down this side. I'm just gonna cut my scrap yarn off here So basically what we have done is we made a chain and then we single crocheted up this side, we did three in the top and then we went down this side so it's like a U shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over like that. And I don't like to chain one but you certainly can if you feel that it is necessary. So I'm going to be placing single crochets up the side all the way until we get to that middle stitch that we put a stitch marker on. So here I am, I have my three single crochets that I did in this last stitch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be placing one in the first one. And then in the middle one here is where I'm gonna be placing my three single crochets. All in that same stitch there. So one, two, and Three. After I've done that, I'm going to be placing one in my last stitch from the three in the top right here. And then I'm just going to be continuing with the single crochets all the way down to the end there. Remember that if you are using a stitch marker to move it from the middle stitch here to the middle stitch here, always keeping it at the very top. Once you've finished that row, I'm just going to be flipping this over and I'm going to repeat that second row of the single crochets, three in the center, single crochets down the other side until the bra cup fits me. So I know for a size small, I'm going to be doing 12 rows, so I'm gonna go and do those 12 rows and I will be back. Right, so I finished my first bra cup and here it is. I cut off the end like that. And I did my second bra cup and I'm actually leaving this one attached. But before we go on, I just want to talk about the sizing a little bit. So as far as the base chain goes, I chained 12 because I'm doing a size small. But this is going to be the measurement from the bottom of your bust to the middle of your bust. That's how long your chain should be. And then as far as how many rows you go out, I would just do as many as makes you comfortable. You can really make this bra cup 
whatever size you need it to be. Like I said, if you want a more detailed description of how I make these, there is going to be a video linked up in the corner over there. And let's move on. So I have my bra cup upside down here and I'm going to be single crocheting across the bottom. So I'm just gonna pick up right in the corner where I left off, connect it exactly how it would be right when you stop. And I'm just going to literally start placing my single crochets right across the bottom. I don't chain one or anything like that and it makes a pretty clean corner and I've never had any problems. So if you can see here, there are little holes all along the bottom. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. And I just do a single crochet into every single one of those available. It should be relatively easy going all the way across until we reach the other corner of our cup over here. All right, so here we are, and it may look like I am at the end here, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna place another single crochet in this chain right here as if we were doing it regularly. Pulled something a little weird there. Yeah, like that. And then that really just finishes off the edge. If you don't do that, there's this little, the little knot where you started that's going to stick out and it doesn't look very good. So after you do that last single crochet there, for this top, I'm going to be chaining three in between my cups. One, two, and Three. And after you have that chain three there, I'm just gonna grab my other cup here. And I'm gonna make sure that they're facing the same way. I want this to be the front and this to be the front on that one as well. And then I'm going to start single crocheting across my other one. So the first stitch I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that same stitch that I did here on the other side, like so. And then I'm just gonna be going across like I normally would and I have my tail here and I'm going to be holding that down on the top and crocheting over it so that it is held in place. All right, so I've done my single crochets all the way across the bottom with the chain three in the middle. And from here, I'm just going to be continuing with rows of single crochets and I'm going to be doing six rows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do those six rows and then I'll come back. All right, now that I've got my six rows of single crochets across the bottom, that is not including the one that we did here with the chain three, so technically it would be seven rows. I'm going to leave my yarn attached and flip it over. And across the bottom here, we're going to be doing what's called a V stitch. So I'm going to begin by chaining two. I'm going to skip this one right here. And then I'm gonna be placing a double crochet in the next stitch. So I chained two, skipped this one, and did a double crochet here. Now I'm going to chain one and do a double crochet in that same stitch there. And that is going to be making our V stitch. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm gonna be placing my V-stitch here, which is the double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So there we have two. And you're just gonna do this all the way across. So it's gonna be skipping two in between every V-stitch. Like so. All right, so I have all my V stitches and I am at the end here and I have two stitches left and we're going to make it exactly like how we started it. So we have our straight stitch here and then we started our V stitches. So here I'm just going to be placing a double crochet into this last stitch there and that's going to make it a straight edge. So from here is where I'm going to fasten off on my bottom. I'm just gonna cut that and pull it through the loop and tighten it down like that. And I'm just gonna leave this tail here because eventually we are going to be single crocheting all the way around our top and that will be covered up later. At this point, we're going to be moving on to our pineapple stitch detailing in the middle of our top here. 
So to begin, I'm going to be counting up three stitches on the bottom of my cup. So here's one, here's two here, and then the third one is right here. I'm going to be putting my hook into that third stitch there, and I'm going to be pulling my yarn through and fastening it on. The way I'm going to do that is I just pull it through, tie it in a knot, and then I will take my tapestry needle and weave this end in here. I just like to run it underneath the stitches. Pull that through. I will stretch it out and I'll cut off whatever is left. So after we do that, we should just have our yarn connected on that third stitch from the bottom. From here, I'm going to be placing my hook through the stitch, yarning over, pulling through. Pulling through. From here you should have a loop on your hook and your yarn like this. So I'm going to be chaining one and next thing we're going to do is we're going to be placing a V stitch right here in our middle stitch from the time that we did the three chains in between our cups. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to place my hook in that middle stitch there. Bring it through and do a double crochet. From there, I'm making a V-stitch. I'm gonna chain one, do another double crochet in that same spot. From here, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to count up three stitches on the other side. So there is one, there's two, and then this one will be the third one here. And I'm going to be placing my hook in it from front to back, like so. I'm going to be pulling through and pulling through to make a slip stitch. So in the middle of your top here, you should have a little V stitch. So we've already done one slip stitch. So in total we need three so we've already done one and we're going to slip stitch up two more stitches on the side of our cup here after that we're going to be flipping our work over and then you can bring your hook with you so it's going to be a little bit backwards now i'm looking at the back of my work currently from here i'm going to be chaining one and I'm actually gonna be placing another V-stitch in my V-stitch from the previous round. So I'm going to yarn over, double crochet just right in the middle of that V there. I'm gonna chain one, do another double crochet, making my V-stitch. And then from there, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to chain one. And we're not going to be skipping three, we're actually gonna be skipping two in between. So there's one, there's two, and I'm gonna be placing my slip stitch right here in the third one. And there you should have two V-stitches. So we're going to be slip stitching two more again, just like we did last time. We're gonna turn our work again, flip it over. So you should be looking at the back of your work right now. This should be slightly twisted. And from here, I'm going to chain two this time instead of one. And then we're going to be making another V-stitch, but it is going to be slightly different. So I'm going to be yarning over, placing my double crochet, and then I'm just going to be placing another double crochet, no chaining one. So you should just have two right there. I'm going to chain one now. And then I'm going to be placing two more double crochets. 
So it is still a V stitch. It just has two and two instead of one and one. Right there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side that we did over here. We're gonna chain two. I'm going to be skipping two stitches there. One, two, and I'm gonna be slip stitching into my third stitch up there. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch two more and turn my work. So, so far we have V-stitch, V-stitch, and then another V-stitch with two double crochets. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be chaining two. And then I'm gonna be placing three of these little two double crochet chain one pairings. So I'm gonna be double crocheting twice, just like that, chain one, double crochet twice again, just like we were doing a V-stitch. But I'm actually going to be placing one more there. So I'm going to chain one again, and then I'm going to be placing two more double crochets in that same stitch. So at this point, you should have the two, the chain one, the two, the chain one, and then two more. So it should look like that. Next thing we're going to do is chain two. I'm going to go over to my cup over here. I'm going to skip two, and then do the three slip stitches one, that's two, and that's three. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my work around, and this is what you should be working with here. So we have our two chain ones right there. And that's what we have so far. So from here, we're going to be putting two of these V stitches in both of these chain one spots. So we're gonna end up with four of the double two double crochets together. I'm gonna chain two like always. I'm gonna come over here to this chain one spot and I'm going to be doing the two double crochets, chain one, another two double crochets, V-stitch. So that is what you should have there. Then I'm gonna come over to this other chain one that we did and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Double crochet, double crochet, chain one, and then two more double crochets in that same spot. And then this is what you should have. So you have this one over here and this one over here. Just like that. I'm gonna do a chain two. I'm gonna come over to my cup over here, skip two, and then do my three slip stitches to connect it. All right, so I'm going to flip my work around and this is what we should have so far. Okay, so gonna be chaining two. Next thing is we're going to be making this little thing again, right in that chain one spot. So I'm going to do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochet V-stitch. There we go. And then we're going to be making another V-stitch in this chain right here, but instead of doing the two double crochets on each side, we're just gonna be doing a regular one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. So that is gonna make you a little V-stitch right in the center there. And then we're just gonna mirror image this on the other side. I'm gonna be doing this over here. The two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Like that. So there's that, and I'm gonna do chain two, come over to my cup, skip two, and then do my three slip stitches in the side. Here we go, flip this over. Now, every time we come off the side, we're going to be doing the chain two and then this V-stitch. 
The only time it's going to be different is going to be in the middle, which is where we're going to be putting our pineapple stitch. So I'm going to do my chain two, going to do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. like so, and then I'm gonna chain one. And then from here, I'm gonna be placing seven double crochets in this V-stitch right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should have a little shell going on. And then from here, I'm going to be chaining one and then doing that little two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And I'm going to chain two, come over to my top, skip two, and then do my three slip stitches. All right, so this is what you should have so far. I've done the V-stitch, V-stitch, another V-stitch, the three, two double crochets like that, and then I have the two, 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 and that cluster of seven there. So from here, we're going to be turning our work Gonna do the uh, usual chain two, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets on the side there. And then from here, what we're gonna do is chain one. And we're gonna be placing seven double crochets on top of these double crochets that we did before, but we're going to be chaining one in between each. So I put a double crochet in the first one there. I'm gonna chain one, do another double crochet in the second one, chain one, double crochet in the third one, chain one, there's four, chain one, there's five, chain one, there's six, and then last one, chain one, do the seventh one. And it should look like that. From here, we're gonna be copying on the other side, just like we did over here to begin with. So I did a chain one, then I'm gonna do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Right, so. After I've done that, I'm going to chain two, skip two, and do my three. Slip stitches. So if you notice, at this point right here, I am at the tip of my bra cup. So. going to be chaining two like we usually do. I'm going to do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, just like that. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to chain two, then I'm going to be placing a single crochet in this first gap here that I have from my seven double crochets and chaining one. I'm just gonna place a single crochet right there in that hole. From here, I'm going to chain three and place a single crochet in the next one right here. I'm gonna do this all the way across. So I'm going to chain three, single crochet in the next one, chain three, single crochet in that Next one, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. We should have five of these little 
three chain loops like that. And we are just going into these chain one spots. We're not going into these little spaces that we have from here to where the space before we started the seven double crochets. So from here, I'm going to chain two, do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets like we normally do. And then at this point, if I showed you before, we were at the tip of our top last time. So we should be at the tip of our top on this side as well. So I chain two and then coming over here, if I skip two, I'm going to be right at the top. If your bra cups are different sizes than mine, you obviously may have a different result of where your tips are just if your cups are longer, I would recommend adding more of these little V-stitches before you begin the whole overall design. And if you don't have the exact right amount of stitches on the side, that is totally okay. You can skip a little bit more at the top. Just make sure it's even on both sides. So once I am at the tip here, I'm going to chain two. And that chain two is actually gonna count as if it were a double crochet right here on the side. So I've chained two and then I need to chain two more to count as these little chains coming off the sides. So I chained four total. Now I'm gonna come over here and do the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two after that. And then I'm going to be placing a single crochet in my first chain three loop here. So I'm going to do a single crochet there. I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in my next loop like that. And I'm just going to do this in all of my loops. So I'm going to chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three and single crochet. So I had five last time, which means this time, though my camera died there for a second, but um, as I was saying, we had five loops on the row before, so on this row we should have four loops. So that's one, two, three, four. And then after I did those, I went ahead and did the chain two, the little V stitch over here, chain two. And then what I did at the end was I just did a double crochet in the top of this stitch right here. So that is going to match up with our chain over here. So next, I'm gonna turn it over. And then I'm gonna be chaining two. That's gonna count as my double crochet, so I'm going to chain two more. And then I'm going to do the two double crochets chain one, two double crochets on the side. Okay, then we're gonna chain two. After that, we're going to be doing the single crochets and chaining three, and we have four right here, so we should end up with three. So I'm gonna do my first one in the first loop right here. We're always skipping these chain twos on the outside. So I'm gonna do my single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and chain three. My last single crochet, and I did three of those. Now, I'm gonna do what we normally do to end it off. I'm gonna chain two, do my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then I'm going to be doing a double crochet to end it. So after you do that, we're gonna chain two. And then I have my four chains over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip one and then put my double crochet in the second chain. So 
so that it looks like that. So we're going to turn it over, do the chain four, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now I'm going to chain two, I'm going to do my single crochet, chain three, single crochet twice for this row. There's one, and there's my second one, two, I'm going to chain two, do that double V stitch. Chain two again and then place my double crochet in the corner of my chain four. So it should look like that. It should always be a straight line. At this point, I mean, the whole thing is basically repetitive, but I'm gonna go across and I'm gonna have one and do that. And then after that, we are on our last row, so. There's my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. I'm gonna chain two. I'm gonna do my single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And that is the last one of those that we're gonna do. There's the top of my pineapple. Chain two, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain two, and then double crochet into our chain four from the row of four like that right so here move this if you can see right here this is our pineapple so i'm just going to do one more row across the top to finish the pattern off and it also pulls up this little last one that we did because if you leave it then it ends up falling down like that and looks a little bit droopy so last row I'm going to be chaining four doing my two double crochets chain one two double crochets and then from here I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets in my chain three loop one two and three so there are my three I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side chain one and then do my two double crochets chain one two double crochets Whoop. then i'm going to do my chain two and double crochet into the corner of my chain four so there is the whole top portion. I like to spread it out so that you can see all the stitches and then once you put the straps on and actually wear the top, this is how it's actually gonna look. This is just how it looks sitting down and relaxed. So from here, I'm not going to fasten off. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to start single crocheting all the way around my top and then I'm gonna add some details along the bottom. And then we're gonna go back up the other side here, go here, across, and then I'm gonna start chaining off for a strap. After I finish that strap, I'm going to connect it back over here and make my other strap, and then we will be done. From where we finished off, I'm going to turn my work, and then this is when I'm going to start my, <clears throat> sorry, this is when I'm gonna start my single crochets. So I'm just going to single crochet across the top of this here. Okay, so I did my row of single crochets across the top. I'm gonna turn my work. I'm gonna do a chain one and then I'm just going to place another single crochet in the same spot. And what that does is it turns the corner for you like that. So then I'm just going to be placing single crochets down the side here. I would just place them wherever 
you can try to evenly space them out. If you don't like the way that it looks, you can always pull it out and try to do it again. But it should be something like that. Okay, so there is that. I am at the top now, so Instead of just doing single crochets all the way down this side, I do a couple of decreases. That way the top curves in on your sides and it fits me a little bit better. So I am going to do five single crochets and then decrease. One, two, three, four, five. And the way that I decrease is I go through and pull it up like I was doing a single crochet. I'm gonna go through the next one and pull it up like I was doing a single crochet and I should have three on my hook now. And then I'm just gonna pull through all three of those. And it makes those two stitches, pulls them together and does a little decrease. So I'm gonna do five more. And I'm gonna do my decrease. Five more. and decrease. So at this point I have reached the bottom of my cup, not including like the side of the top here. So I'm just going to continue with my single crochets all the way down the side here. So once you get to the corner, we're gonna turn it. And this is when we're going to be using our V stitches and we're going to be making a cute little design. So I did the same thing that I did up here with my single crochets. I did one over here, I chained one and then I went around the other side and that just makes a little corner for you. So as far as the design goes, we're gonna be doing little scalloped edges. So I'm going to, in my V-stitch, I'm going to place a single crochet. Next thing I'm going to place is a half double crochet. Then I'm going to be placing a double crochet like that. And then I'm just going to do the opposite. So I'm going to do a half double crochet and then a single crochet. If you look at that, it makes a cute little rounded edge. And I'm just gonna do that all the way across. So after I do the last single crochet in this one, I'm gonna move on to this one over here, do my single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. And it's just gonna make all of these little edges for you. I'm gonna do that all the way across the bottom. Okay, I went all the way across the bottom and here I am back at the other end. I think it is super cute. So, I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna do my chain one for the corner and then I'm just going to start with the single crochets all the way up this side. I am going to be doing my decreases here and then I'm just going to single crochet up this and I will meet you back then. So I just single crocheted all the way up this side with the decreases and then I single crocheted up the edge here. And I just met up with my first row of single crochets that I did across the top. So I'm actually not going to disconnect my yarn here. I'm actually just going to start chaining off for a strap. So that is what I'm gonna do. Normally I just do about 150 chains. Just really make sure that it goes over your shoulder, across your back, crosses and ties. So however long you need that to be is how long you should make your chains. All right, so I did one of my straps here and I'm just gonna show you how to attach the other straps. So I'm going to take my yarn and then I'm gonna go into that um, sorry, gonna go into that chain that we did in the corner 
here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my yarn through there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I have a pretty good length tail, like two or three inches, and I'm just gonna tie that in a knot. And then I'm gonna be taking my tapestry needle, thread that through there, and I'm just gonna be weaving in the end of the tail. just like we did whenever we were attaching it down here. All right, that, sorry, that is probably good enough. I'm just gonna pull that through. And it is a little bit hard to pull through because it's tight, but that's good, that's how we want it. So I'm just gonna pull this out as far as it can go and then I'm going to cut this end off. And that should be nice and connected. From there, we're going to take our hook and put it back through that chain space. And then we're just going to start chaining off from there. It creates a very clean, join with no knots or ends sticking out. And then I'm just going to make this strap the same length as my other strap. We're gonna lace up the top and then we will be done. So I've got both of my straps done up here. This is the back side of my top and I'm just going to lace these guys up for you. So I'm going to take this one and it's going to cross over to here and I put it in right at the bottom of our bra cuff. So I'm just going to flip it over, find where the bottom of the bra cuff is, and pull that through. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other strap over here. This is gonna go from here to here. Right, so after you have those two, they are going to cross again. So they're gonna go like that. And then I just pull it through the bottom loop right there. And at this point, this is where you would tie them in a knot. And that is your Pineapple top. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more crochet content.